All right, so perfect timing. That fan just kicked in. Listen. Okay, all I'm doing is watching that video. All right, champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. So have a look at core temp and we're what, 60 degrees and all it's doing is watching this video. Oh, have a look at him. Own it, disowned. Are you actually reviewing the, um, what is it? That overpowered, that, um, what's it called? Walmart thing. And actually, this thing, I've done a review on this, the Gigabyte Sombre. Check that out. Check that review out. 120 hertz display, GTX 1060, like, killer price. Like, really good laptop for the price. And it will probably compete with that overpowered Walmart thing. So anyway, my first impressions of this extreme, it's a ThinkPad. So hey, how cool is that? You know, you can put that back and this is $10, this thing. I'll leave a link in the description if they still have them. I doubt they will, but um, the first thing I noticed was how small that power brick is. Small and light, very light, 135 watts. One thing I don't like is the way this power cable connects. It's like a, it's like a USB. It's a Lenovo, so best keyboard in class. You don't even have to go there. It is the best keyboard. Although they look the same sort of size, these keyboards. And the travel feels the same. They feel like they're the same size. But um, this one, both the keyboard and the trackpad feel better. This is a smaller trackpad than this one. This is the 15 inch. This is the carbon, the 13 inch. But the keyboards look very similar, but they feel different. This one's newer, so this one's older. Yeah, I do prefer this keyboard and trackpad for that matter. So my first impressions after I picked up the brick is that this thing is friggin' light for a 15 inch it's light. It's actually as light as the MacBook Pro. And have a look here by the way. Look at that. 64 gig, 2 times 32 gigs. Ooh, any generous um, viewers want to help me buy some of those and uh, put those in laptops? That's the thing, right? They're selling these now because there's a demand because the Mac Minis want these uh, sodiums, these 64 gigs. They need, they've only got two slots, so they want to start using them. A lot of people are using them now. That's why it says for Apple. But all these laptops, these 15 inches with two slots, should be able to use 64 gigs RAM. May require a BIOS update. Whether they'll ever do this update, who freaking knows? I would definitely love to stick 64 gigs in one of these laptops and see how we go. So this is a candidate for me to keep. The bezels are a bit thicker than, you know, the XPS 15. Well, it is a little bit lighter. Either that thing bothers you or not. And then you can see here we have an IR camera there. So you have Windows Hello plus a fingerprint. It is a great trackpad too, by the way. The display, ooh, the colors look good. The red looks good, right? That red of the YouTube... I can tell straight away that it looks right. Um, or oh, tell him, tell him that Sunderland, how good Sunderland are. Just tell him, tell him, go to his comments, tell him. The display is really good, so the colors are really good. Some places the colors look a bit cartoonish and that's just color profiling with Windows. Sometimes it just doesn't do it right. But where the colors are actually managed properly, the colors are bang on. I can just tell straight away. I don't even have to uh, calibrate it. I can tell just by looking at my pink and even just that red of the YouTube. Also, it's not as bright as, say, the Mac, the display. It's pretty bright. 400 nits is the spec. I'll test out how bright it is. It's pretty much the same as the XPS 15, the brightness. It's not as bright as the Mac, I can tell you that. Or the um, MateBook X either. It's not as bright as that. When it comes to thermals, as I told you before, yes, it was just watching a video. The fan would kick in, which is quite disappointing. That's Cinebench undervolted, and that's stock. And it cannot maintain its clock of 3.9, um, well, the, the boost clock of 3.9 during the Cinebench test. I'll just stop this, and we'll just run it. And I'll put core temp on, and you can have a quick look. All right, so let's have a look at Cinebench. And you'll see here, straight away, that core goes up to 98. I've got one rogue core, and that's stopping the, um, the CPU from um, 
Uh, there you can see 3.8 drops down to about 3.2 it is about 29 degrees in this room at the moment i will put the echo on and test it at around 22 that's normal sort of temperature but oh look at that 2.8 it went down to oh okay uh yeah i might restart that and try that again it doesn't seem right but that's probably because the fans didn't kick in in time and yeah, it just might be a fan curve thing. This is the latest BIOS, by the way. All right, so if we have a look at the battery port, we have four cycle counts. We have 79, 970. So virtually the 80 watt hours that you, you know, you are designed to have with this laptop. And it's LiPo, LiPo sort of technology there. So you're getting what you pay for. You're getting that 80 watt hours. It can be 10% plus or minus. So sometimes... You know, if it's an 80 watt hour battery, you might only get like 75 watt hours or something like that. It happens. But this one's pretty good. So I'm happy with the display. The display is like one of the best displays. It's a touch display, of course. It is a good, good laptop display. So I'm happy with that. Keyboard, yep, excellent. And yeah, I like how light it is. Like it's as light as the MacBook, which is a quite a feat there. Now this is one of the things I tell you when you're buying these laptops, what you get with these top tier manufacturers, Dell, Apple, Lenovo, the support, right? So what I can do is what, what's annoying about Lenovo is they don't have returns. So, you know, if you buy something and it's not fit for purpose, you, you can return it, but it's like 20% restocking fee, which really sucks. Lenovo, you really got to get your game on and match all the other big tier manufacturers like Apple, Dell, that have the 14. Oh, actually, even Razer have a return policy. You just have to pay postage, whereas the other ones, even Microsoft return, like, come on, get with it. But you can get on-site um, repairs. So I can buy a warranty here, and I do recommend you. I think Dell's warranty is better because you can buy a warranty that covers you for damage as well with the Dell. I don't think there's one for damage here, but you can get a warranty and you can get three years depot. All right, that's all right. We want on site. Three years on site, keep drive. I don't understand what this stuff means. But if you want two years on site, NBD, I don't know what that is, sealed battery. But anyway. I think that what that means is they will replace the battery if it goes faulty, like within the two years, and they'll give you on-site repair. I think that's how it works. So, you know, this is the thing you get with these big manufacturers that you don't get with a Razer, you know, Gigabyte, or, you know, MSI. I don't even think you get that with MSI either. So that's why if you're going to spend the big bucks, you know, you're sort of safe with these guys.